Hey there everybody, it's Dr. Kim. This is this week's question from the mind-body community and it's so perfect because it's something I was just thinking of when I read another post from one of the members in the Embracing Health program. The question was about how important is presence in the whole equation of healing or what's happening in my life and is it really the priority to focus on being present and my state of presence or should I be looking to the past to figure out past wounds or the source or the cause or thinking about why this is going on for answers. Well, it turns out that presence is by far the most important factor in the equation of health and actually in the equation of everything. Your state of being, what you're present to, um, being aware, being awakened is the most powerful medicine. In fact, I just had someone comment in the Embracing Health program um, an unexpected benefit of her um, developing this state of embracing all that is, being present to all that is, allowing energy to move through. Her daughter, who had had a significant speech impairment, uh, began saying her S's. And S's require a lot more motor function and control and what's happening in the mouth than a lot of other letters. So it was quite a surprise that this um, young child began this um, ability to lateralize in her speech and speak the S. And this kind of came out of nowhere with her progress and kind of was unexpected. But the, the thing, you wouldn't think that that would have anything to do with your state of presence, but especially as a parent, it has everything to do with what's going on for your kids. There are a lot of weird conundrums that my clients will be facing with their kids, like this is impossible, or a uh, learning problem, or a behavioral problem. And as that parent comes into a better alignment with their presence, alignment with um, ease, fluidity, peace, love, letting go of the control or fear or needing to fix what's happening with the kids, a lot can happen with the kids and how they just come into a state of, of greater health or greater alignment or aligned behavior and um, are in ease and peace themselves. And it changes the way their brain is working. It changes the way everything is going on for that kid. And the same is true for everything around you. When you're in a space of presence, it's kind of interesting because I'm watching my daughter's um, tennis lesson. It's her first, she's having a private tennis lesson over there. Um, and I know my state of presence has everything to do with it. I used to not get that. I think, uh, why do I need to be there? She's gonna be over there for an hour. I can go do something else and be more you know, purposeful in my life or productive. And I have since, in the last several years, realized the power of my presence being here with her, being in the sidelines, even if I'm just sitting there, that what I'm aware of as I notice her or what I'm present to has everything to do with what's going on with her. We are electromagnetic. We are not just physical. So my state of presence has an effect on the electromagnetics of everyone and everything around me, especially my kids, especially my body and my own health. So if you remember that, it will be easier to receive why how I'm being present has anything to do with anything. Hey, there's fires to put out, there's emergencies to fix, there's stuff to do, there's productivity to be had. What do you mean just be present? We sit, tend to think that means I just sit there and do nothing. Nothing could be further from the truth. When I'm present to my state of being, it changes everything. And it can allow instant healing. It can allow instant change in what's happening physically and physiologically in my cells and in the cells of everyone around me. So I am so excited that Peter asked this question this morning and I'm excited to share that with you. Let me know how that lands. When we're in a state of fear, everything lands as a threat. What do you mean? I'm just gonna sit there and do nothing and stuff's gonna happen, this lady's crazy. When we're in a state of fear, we can't really hear the message. And so with great compassion, I'm sharing this with you and I hope it will land in a way that makes sense and that you can begin using right now. So take a few deep breaths, feel your body, let it relax even 2% more. That will develop deeper presence that will shift your electromagnetics, it will shift what's happening in your cells and in what's happening in your world. Lots of love, I'm at drkimd.com. You can share this video from my YouTube station and also from my Facebook business page, Dr. Kim Duramo. But as always, I'll be sharing this in the mind-body community and I'll see you soon, bye.